Ah, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. That's... Not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. His will. How and where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. Back to Tabor then. Not to be so reunited with Yote this time, but with Father. Nah, katanya guys ada surat dari ayahnya si Joshua dan Clive ya. So cukup unik juga setelah sekian lama ada surat yang tinggalkan guys. Nah sekarang kita mesti pergi ke Tabor ya. Kita coba cek peta dulu guys. Apakah di sini? Ya kita traveling ya. Nah ini kita udah sampai guys. Kita coba aja ya masuk ke pintu ini. Katanya bicara sama si Sairil guys. Your Grace, my Lord, I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Cyril, you found a letter from Father. Yes, I have it here. If you would do us the honor, my lord. An inheritance. It would seem the late Archduke penned this missive shortly before his passing. The day before we left for Phoenix Gate. What are these plans he spoke of? His plans for the duchy, your grace. Your father entrusted them to my predecessor, the former bearer of the Burning Quill, who entrusted them in turn to me. The complete emancipation of bearers is their stated aim. But your father's dream did not end there. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse, and the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies. With the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elwyn saw this as the only means of securing Rosaria's survival. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals. To see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Had he not, he would never have written this message. Nor would he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you. Shielded you from the machinations of the less benevolent personages at court. It's a pity only they are still with us. Hmm. Tis true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. But one at least remains. And she has come bearing gifts. What do you mean? Mayhap it is better that she explain, my lord. After all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering his grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it. Or a part of it, at least. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the archive, your grace. Thank you, Cyril. Shall we then?
ada seorang wanita guys yang harus kita temui ya kata si Cyril dan kita bisa dengarkan lebih banyak tentang ayahnya lagi wanita ini guys so langsung aja ya kita ngobrol ya My lord your grace I I hardly recognize you I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady Goditha. You have our gratitude for your service to our house and to our father. I merely did my duty. As any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more. What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands for you both. Alas, he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before they could be completed. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself, but it was not to be. And his gifts remain incomplete. I see. It saddens me to bring them before you as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress, but with his grace long since gone and the stone left unclaimed, I had little choice. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Goditha. What say you, Clive? What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do. Though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of Elder Griffins, you see. We do at least know where to find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. A certain specimen? You are most perceptive, Your Grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield? It would surely make your father proud. What say you, Joshua? What else? Okay, guys. Sekarang kita diminta untuk berburu seekor binatang dan kemungkinan besar itu Gravin, ya. But we must not be hasty. The good lady has been disappointed once already. All right. Tenang aja, Joshua. Kita nggak akan buat dia kecewa kok. Nah, untuk lokasinya itu dia berada di sini, guys. So, kita langsung aja ya teleport ke sini ya. Nah, dari sini kita tinggal lurus aja, guys. So, nggak jauh lah ya. Nah, ini kita berburu binatang yang akan menjadi finishing air material nice buat amben kita, Joshua. guys. Nah, lokasinya udah nggak jauh lagi ya, guys. So, kita mau finishkan sebuah armband sepasang ya, buat si Clive dan buat Joshua. Supaya mereka bisa pakai item itu, guys. Nah, itu monsternya, guys. Yang akan kita slain ya, kita kill. Demi mendapatkan Hearthstone, guys. So, langsung aja ya. There it is. The House Rossfield. Post the House of Rossfield. Wow, 
Let's play. Woohoo! I'm gonna get that guy. Sayang banget ya guys, ini binatang langka sih ini. Katanya ayah Sick Life mau bunuh binatang ini guys untuk lengkapin material yang dibutuhkan untuk buat armbandnya. Ow, kena ya. Level 40 guys dan kita udah di atas level yang dibutuhkan ya untuk ngekill dia. King Slayer skillnya. Ouch. Wah, kalau ayah si Clive dan ayahnya Joshua bisa ngekill ini sih lumayan ya guys. Lumayan kuat nih binatang. Dengan dari bis nih ya. lagi guys sepertiga lagi guys aduh lumayan ya membuat aku kewalahan ya Puting beliung guys. Kill, 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 kill. Saya was ni dah. Enemy slain. Ah, kita dapatin hardstone guys. Ini itemnya guys. Is this the hardstone? I expect Lady Godotha will know. Yeah, I expect to do the same. Okay, kita ambil item dulu. Nah, sepuluh gil doang. Nah, kita kasih ya guys, item tadi kepada Lady Godita ya guys. Semoga dia bisa buatin armband yang finish ya. Let's. Oh, thank the founder you were safe. The Griffin is slain then. And the Heartstone claimed. Yes, this radiant luster like frozen flame it is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Godetha, the lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours, after all. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. 
and the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together, as Phoenix and Shield, as brothers in arms, only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. His Grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Goddatha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after father died, mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewelry be sent away from the castle. It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. And thank the Founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued, until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that His Grace's will had been recovered, and that his sons were alive and well. Lady Goddatha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. For coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. I remain your faithful servant, my lord. Oke okay, guys. Tadi itu ya, kita udah dapetin armband yang diselamatkan oleh Lady Godita sebelum... Si Dachi atau ibu dari mereka berdua ini ngambil semua hartanya guys Dan dia tahu bahwa itulah salah satunya cara menyamarkan warisan dari ayahnya si Clive dan Joshua So ya, yeah, terima kasih sama dia kita mendapatkan warisan ya guys Dan kita lanjutin ceritanya The bands suit you well It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long It is And we thank you for the part you played Cyril If you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing, and that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Shall we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since... since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it. For it too is a part of your inheritance. And I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands... than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Come on, Clive. He's waiting. Nah, guys, sekarang kita diminta oleh Sayri untuk mengunjungi makam ayahnya ya sebagai bukti bahwa kita sudah menerima warisan dari dia, guys. Dan ya, Clive pun merasa hal yang sama bahwa sebelum kita pergi meninggalkan area ini ke Origin, setidaknya kita berikan salam perpisahan kepada ayahnya, guys. Nah, kita cek dulu ya, memorial dia itu berada di Hawk's Cry, Clive. 
harusnya di sini lokasinya ya. Dan kita udah sampai guys ke Hawks Cry Cliff. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough to save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. Of that I'm less certain. Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Oke, okay, ini apakah kita salah dengan areanya? Ya ampun, ternyata kita harus turun ke bawah dulu, guys. Dia udah ada di bawah ya, guys. Tadi kita berhasil hindarin beberapa monster akashik. Nah, ke bawah sini. Dan inilah, guys, makam ayahnya ya. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, He never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying, because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself, even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, Father, if I may, that you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. We won't lay you down. Onward then. Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. Nah itu tadi ya guys, kita udah ngerjain questnya dan sekilas kita melihat siluet dari bapaknya ya guys, bapaknya Joshua dan Clive Badannya doang pas si Clive liatin udah nggak ada ya So sepertinya dia memberkati kedua anaknya untuk pergi menyamakan dunia guys Nice Nah sekarang kita balik lagi ya Kita cek questnya guys Kayaknya udah nggak ada quest di world map ini So kita langsung kembali ya ke headway kita untuk lanjutin quest berikutnya guys Nah ini kita udah sampai di hideaway kita, kita cek lagi peta guys Nah ini ada quest ya guys Nobody's Tools Alright Kita coba cari di mana quest itu guys Ini di bawah ya 
Mm -mm. Iya guys, di luar ini guys. Oh, si Doris guys. Sid, do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter, and something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her, bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. We'll be needing the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the Narrow. Does that mean... I'm making an exception, but we travel together. And we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. A name from my past. Chadwick. Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit Walls, just beyond the portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. How long has it been since the jailers of Balmung abandoned their charges? Without food or water, they won't last long. Nah guys, sekarang kita diminta bantu oleh si Doris ini ngebebasin orang-orang yang berada di Walut guys. Jadi intinya mereka itu jadi tawanan, tapi pemiliknya itu kabur guys. Jadi mereka tinggalin begitu doang di dalam kerangkeng atau jeruji ya. So kita langsung aja teleport ya guys. Kita cekin, katanya di Walut tadi guys. Walau tuh di arah sini, nah ini dia Kita traveling ya Nah jaraknya 150 yard ke atas guys Kita cek peta dulu Oke berarti kita mesti naik ya Nah kita naik guys Doris is waiting for me near Balmung Dark The longer she's out in the open the more likely she is to be found by Akashic I need to hurry Ini aja udah ada Akashic di depan kita Clive Mau gak mau guys, kita bantai dulu ya Oke, okay, one down Level 38 guys, tapi nggak begitu kuat lah ya Kita, kita biasa kill mereka juga Oke, okay, dua down Tiga down Lumayan guys, dapat 861 experience ya. Kita juga belum mencapai level maksimal guys. Ini jalannya ke sebelah kanan sini. Ini benteng yang udah ditinggalin ya guys ya. Uh oh, di depan ada monster guys. Uh, kita sini aja. Lah malah ada monster juga. Ada dua ekor bom guys. Kita kill dulu lah ya. Oke okay. Empat jurus, lima jurus ya guys, baru mati seekor Ini kalau kita nggak kill dia, nanti dia melakukan kamikaze guys, bisa meledak sendiri guys Harusnya bisa lah kita kill ya. Oke, dua ekor bom telah kita send ke akhirat. <laughs> nah, 
Kalau kita cek ini area masih kekunci guys Semoga bisa kebuka ya Kayak kolosium ini guys Nah Doris di depan kita sapa aja guys There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates. No, it's a different story inside though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashik. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet. But let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether stick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Just don't burn okay. all the floods inside the walls. Bad enough to turn a bearer. I hope not. We're risking a lot just being here. Better keep my eyes open for signs of life. Nah, kemarin itu guys, ini area nggak bisa diakses ya, dan termasuk ini area itu masih hidden ya guys. Ya ampun, ada zombie guys, ada zombie, zombie akasi guys. Ya. Mati satu, masih ada satu ekor lagi. Oke, mereka ada meninggal guys. Kosong ya? Hah? Ini ada apa? Kita cek ya. So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Nah, warning guys. Setelah kita baca catatannya itu, ini adalah fasilitas buat nge-training kuja bis ya guys. Dan para prisoners itu digunakan sebagai bahan material untuk latihan si bis itu guys. Ini sih feeling-feeling bahaya ini mah. 20 sharp fangs. Ini ada jalan ke atas. Oh, disuruh ke bawah. Bentar-bentar, ini bisa ke atas kok ini. Suara kasih guys. Ya ampun. Ini macam kita masuk ke sarang zombie ya guys. Oke, udah mati semuanya. Ah, ini di atas tadi. Lumayan guys, ada peti ya. Kita masuk lagi aja. Ada enemy lagi guys. Cukup banyak kali ini ya. It's over ya. Ini penjaranya kosong semua guys, nggak ada orang satupun ya di sini ya. Ini si Doris. No sign of any bearers yet. I hope you have better luck downstairs. Oke Doris. Berarti kita emang harus ke bawah guys. Tor galau ya guys share. Hmm, bentuk guys. Yaudah, kita ke bawah dulu ya. Tadi pintu masuknya ke sini. Ah, akasik lagi guys di depan. Kebanyakan power up ya mah. Ada dua lagi guys. Nah, ada catatan nih guys, kita inspeksi lagi ya. Minimal loss of Waluda lives. 
What happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Wah, ini catatannya menyatakan kalau si Kuzabis itu tidak mengenal lawan ataupun kawan ya guys. Bener-bener apa yang dilihat mau dibantai sama dia semuanya. Dan ini kita mau ujung-ujungnya bakal lawan si Kuzabis itu guys. Believe it or not ya. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I feared. Nothing but a cache down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. Gila. Is getting on. Wah guys, jadi intinya itu binatang dikasih makan bearers ya guys. Jadi manusia ditumbalkan buat kasih makan tuh binatang. Waduh kacau banget. Karena mereka uh, kekurangan bahan makanan jadi si binatang itu di train sekalian kasih makan sama bearers. Mungkin mau kita selamatkan guys. Makanya nggak ada bearers sama sekali di sini ya. Kita sapa dulu guys si Dori ya. No lock downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of, whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. Gowler's key. Hado, ini mah key buat ini guys. Buat ngebuka sarangnya si Kuza sih, ini perasaanku ya. Jadi ini misi mana kita harus ngekill itu bis guys. Feeling feelingku sih begitu ya cerita ini ngarahin kita. So aku juga penasaran bentuk binatang yang katanya super agresif dan udah makan banyak bir sih seperti apa guys. Alright, sekarang aku save dulu ya. Karena rada-rada cemas nih guys, bisa mati kita di sini ya. Oke, kita lanjutin guys. Let's see what we can find down here. Aduh, find what Clive? Find the beast lah tentunya. Nah kan guys, ini area udah kebuka guys. Menunggu kita masuk doang ini mah. Kita lihat-lihat dulu guys keliling ya. Dapat ember, nggak ada apa-apa lagi. Kok ada nangis? A survivor. And she sounds close. Mana? Ini ada guys, masih ada yang selamat guys. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course there were. Thank the founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Jadwick send you? What? He 
he fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your sound, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. You put the bearer eating beast on the ground. Astaga, guys. No, guys. It's waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. Itu mah bihimot, guys. Kita ambil item dulu ya. Alright. So, kalau kalian lihat ya, itu beastnya bihimot. Ini second appearance-nya, guys. Kita udah battle bihimot kemarin itu. Sebelum kita lawan Barnabas ya, dan sekarang ada Bihimot juga di sini. So ini samanya Kuzabis ya. Aduh, ini bakal alot guys. Alright, langsung aja guys, tanpa menunggu lama kita coba battle Kuzabis ya. Monster rank A guys. Jatuhin meteor dia guys Lagi Meteor kedua Aduh Banting dia Clive Cukup alot guys, tapi kita udah kena lawan ya Main tangkap tikus apa? Alright, gak jadi keluar komennya ya Oke, okay. monster level 40 dengan grade-nya A, guys. Lumayan buat latihan kita, guys. Banting lagi ke live Alright Udah 2 per 3 guys Hit point nya habis guys Comment lagi nih Another comment guys Lagi Dia loncat gak nih Uh Set hampir kena kita guys Oke okay guys, seperlima dari hapenya lagi. Ah, 
habis ya rezeki papan kita kita kasih petir guys komet enggak <tuh> Nice try. Come here. Gas look. Aduh. Excellent. Excellent. Huh. Di Himot Slain ya. Dan termasuk monster bounty juga ternyata guys Dapat behemoth shackle Finally Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine I think No. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you.
And that's it guys untuk video kali ini ya Dan itu quest terakhir kita Ngebunuh Behemoth ya guys Dan kita mengetahui cerita sedikit tentang si Doris dan masa lalunya guys Dan aku ucapkan terima kasih buat teman-teman sudah nonton sampai ending video ini ya Jangan lupa di subscribe ya guys Agar kamu tidak ketinggalan update video berikutnya Dan tentunya permainan ini nggak akan seru tanpa kehadiran kamu guys So sampai jumpa lagi ya di chapter berikutnya Stay gaming and stay happy